I know it's not enough. It's not nearly enough. I understand that. You're looking at a father and a husband and a son. Believe me, I know it's not enough. This is all we got. Today was a good day, Johnson. Now, you know what I'm talking about. You know I cover these stories now. I've been doing it for almost a decade. 99% of the people that follow me. This is the one story. Out of all the stories I've covered, I've covered them all, Johnson. This is the one where 99% of the people that follow me have, we've been in agreement that the McMichaels needed to go to jail. That happened today, Johnson. Those suckers are going to jail. They are going to jail, going to jail. They are going to jail, jail, jail. Come on now. Come on now. They're going to jail, jail. My brother on Twitter, Bishop Talbot Swan, he posted this. He said, Gregory and Travis McMichael got life without the possibility of parole. And if they come back, they got to do another 20 years. <laughs> that means if they die and come back, they got to go back to prison. And McMichael's got double life. They got life plus 20 years. That means if he go to jail, he go to jail and he die in jail. If he come back, he still got to go to penitentiary. You still got to go to penitentiary. Now, he ain't saying like that because he's a reverend. He ain't going to talk like Brother Tim Black. But he did say if you come back, you got to go to jail. We know what you did last time you was here. Get your little ass in the penitentiary. Shout out to Richard Pryor, those who know what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, the Travis McMichael and Greg McMichaels were sitting there so much time. They're sitting there more time than a human being could reasonably do in a lifetime. They need two lifetimes to serve all the time they were given today. And I just want to say, folks, we focus so much on what we disagree on. We focus so much on things that we can be opposed to each other on. But, folks, we have a story, we have a case, a verdict, a sentencing where we are in unison for once in our lifetime. I feel like I found someone I can leave. Man, something that something that I want to play the clip of people that were working today that were busy doing what needed to be done were unable to see this shout out to this let's run this one time sentencing that said with regard to the sentence in this case as to Travis McMichael Mr. McMichael the court sentences you as follows. Count one, malice murder, life without the possibility of parole. Count two, felony murder, is vacated by operation of law. Count three, felony murder, vacated by operation of law. Count four, felony murder, vacated by operation of law. Count five, felony murder, vacated by operation of law. Count six, aggravated assault, merges into count one. Count seven, aggravated assault. The court sentences the defendant to 20 years consecutive to count one. Count eight, false imprisonment, merges into count one. Count nine, attempted false imprisonment, five years concurrent to count seven. That is life plus 20. Greg McMichael, the court sentences you as follows. Life plus 20, life plus 20, life plus 20, life plus 20. I feel like Mike Epps up in here. It's a beautiful thing, Johnson, when you get that type of time headed out to kill us. Everybody say, we need an emoticon. We need an emoji for that. Yeah, baby, that's what I need an emoji for right there, Johnson. Hello, somebody. I want you to know that judge, the judge in this case, Judge Ramsey, that man deserves a Cheesecake Factory coupon, Johnson. Get him a Cheesecake Factory coupon right away. That judge did the damn thing, Johnson. Oh, he whoop, 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 whooped that ass and gave off that justice. Now, I would like to nominate Judge Ramsey for the black card. 
Temporary black card. What is the Judge Ramsey for his ability to say, go to jail, Johnson? Now, folks, I want you to understand, you have to watch this. One part of the trial, of the sentencing, he goes, you know, this may, be, this may seem the, theatrical, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, no, I said, what are you going to do? What you going to do, Judge? He said, they chased this young man. They chased this young man for five minutes. They chased him for five minutes. I wondered what was going through that young man's mind through his heart. How he must have been terrified for five minutes. In the spirit of that, let's, I'd like for us to sit in silence for a minute to honor the fact that this was just a, a portion of how much time they spent chasing this young man but done nothing wrong. And silence. Nobody said nothing. I also want to acknowledge Prosecutor Linda, Linda Benkowski for a job well done. An exceptional job. I would also like to acknowledge Wanda Cooper Jones, the mother of Ahmaud Arbery, for her composure. And for her sticking it to that horrible defense attorney that brought up Ahmaud Arbery's toenails during the trial to degrade and debase this young man, this victim of a lynching being murdered and killed in the street, trapped like a rat by these bigoted vigilantes. I'm going to give Wanda Cooper Jones all due respect for her perseverance under immeasurable stress, her grace. That's what I want to do. So, folks, what we have right here, we have a case. And, like, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get this to you again. Will we be able to share this? Don't get me wrong. I already know. Don't don't, don't come up here with me. Oh, come on, Tim. There ain't no justice. And they can't bring them back. I know. I know. There's only two things we get in this life, in America, when we've been wronged. We get money or we get somebody gets jail time. Those are the two ways that we do it in this life. There's nothing else you can do in this life. Now, y'all know I don't support the death penalty because the death penalty is handed out so so inconsistently. Well, it is consistently handed out to poor and mostly black and brown people. That's who it's handed out to. So I can't support a, a system that takes life away when we know it gets it wrong so many times and it just so happens the people that get it wrong with are people that look like you and me. And people whose wallets look like our wallets. One thing you ain't going to see is rich people on, on, on death row. You ain't going to see that shit. So back to what I was saying is that in America, the only way that we have, the only way that we solve these types of heinous crimes is through money. That's one way, Johnson. Can't take it with you, but you can give it to your kids. And in this society, as corrupt as it is, it's very much necessary, Johnson. But he can't buy everything. But hell, you know what? Everything else, I put it on layaway. I said, I put it on layaway. Put it in a trust fund. And then there is punitive. So that's all we got, man. And, and, and I know it's not enough. It's not nearly enough. I understand that. You're looking at a father and a husband and a son. Believe me, I know it's not enough. This all we got. What would have been better is if, if the McMichaels would have minded their goddamn business. It would have been better if the McMichaels would have not decided that they wanted to play kill a Negro that day. If they would have just took their ass back in the house, none of this would have happened. And Ahmaud Arbery will be 27 years old. But that's not what happened. That's because they made different choices. 
So, one more time. Gregory Michael, Travis McMichael, both sentenced to life. No possibility of parole. Plus 20 years. William Roddy Bryan, he was sentenced to life. With the possibility of parole. That's still 30 years, Johnson. He already 50. <clears throat> so, um, we start getting to these numbers. Now, remember, they still have to go to federal court for, uh, what is it, hate crimes, violation of uh, constitutional rights, hate crimes. So, we're not done yet. It's not over. And, of course, they're going to try to appeal. But this leg is done. And the sentence was correctly handed out to that. And that's a beautiful thing, John. So give it up for that and give it up for yourselves. Glad it with me on that story. Okay. Thank you for watching this content. Click here to watch another amazing video and click here to subscribe. And as always, thank you, Johnsons.